What's going on beer lovers and thank you for joining me today on another review on good quality craft beer. I'm Charles from Beer Republic and today is going to be a very special episode because of the fact that we are going to a brewery that do not needs an introduction and this brewery is located out of Sonoma County and we are headed to the one the only Russian River Brewing and we are going to review the one, the famous Pliny the Elder coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. So, this beer needs no introduction. I mean, this beer is well known throughout the United States. And it's very hard to find on the East Coast. And it's very hard to find towards going to the East Coast. And it's available on the West Coast. And even though it's available on the West Coast, it's still hard to find because of the fact that this beer is not kept on the shelves. Uh, very, uh, a lot of retailer, uh, retailers actually keep it in the back. So when you go in into a retailer here, whether it's a liquor store, whether it's a Jimbo's, whether it's uh, you know one of those big top uh, corporate uh, stores, you have to ask for it and you have to ask if they carry this fruit because of the fact that they keep it in the back. They don't keep it in the front. They don't keep it in stock. And once they do, uh, uh, once they say yes, we carry it, you only have a one bottle limit. And the reason that they do that is because this brewery is so famous for this brew that they want everybody to taste it. And uh, I just happened to find this right where I live. And they had it, so I have it. As you can see right here, we're reviewing it right now. So let me read what to you what it says on this label because um, a lot of people tend to collect beers, a lot of people tend to age beers, and one thing you have to understand about this beer in particular, this beer is not meant to be aged. And it says it right here. It has four strips going in a square. So I will read it to you as fast as I can. Respect your elder. Keep cold. Drink fresh. Do not age. Pliny the Elder is a historical figure. Don't make the beer inside this bottle one. Not a barley wine. Do not age. Age your cheese. Not your Pliny. Respect hops. Consume fresh. And last but not least, does not improve with age. Hot beers are not meant to be aged. Keep away from heat. So, if you must sit on eggs, not on Pliny, do not save. For a rainy day, Pliny is for savoring, not for saving, consume Pliny fresh, or not at all. So, again, this basically has a warning label, do not age, do not wait, once you get this, consume right away, so let's get into the review. Again, this is the one, the only Russian River Brewing, and this is Pliny the Elder. So, as you can see, I report it, and as you can see, it is a very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful golden light uh, uh, color it's a, a, a blonde I mean it's see-through I can see right through it when I poured it it had less than a finger of a head which the bubbles dissipated very quickly the head right there is an egg white shell color the color is again a see-through amber very beautiful see-through golden and it's a very light copper as you can see the legs uh, the alcohol legs sticking to the glass very minimal and it has some carbonation not too much but not again too less and it's just perfectly so let's get a nose to this oh man just awesome goodness as you can for those of you who already had this right at the front you get the hops it's not too overpowering, but you get the hops, you get the pine right in the middle, you get the citrus, you get the grapefruit, you get the, uh, the zest, the lemon, the orange zest, the orange peel, and then right in the back you get the uh, somewhat, uh, I would say, floral notes, you know, lilac, um, you get some uh, onion, some garlic, you get the, uh, the lavender, so with that being said, let's get into the taste. Salute. Ay, Diosito lindo. I mean, once you take a sip of this beer, you're just at a loss for words because of the fact that 
all the flavors is just there. I mean, this beer is just superb, balanced, I mean, to perfection. Right at the tip, again, you get the hops, you get the pine, but it's not overpowering. Right in the middle, you get the citrus, you get the grapefruit, you get the pine, you get the, uh, the orange zest, you get the lemon zest. And again, right as it's still going through, you get the, um, the, uh, the passion fruit, you get the apricot, you get the mango, you get some banana in there. And then right at the end, as it goes down, you, uh, you get a very kind of a lightish, uh, citrusy, floral scent going down. It doesn't dry the palate, it doesn't leave a film. It's just perfect. I mean, it's just, uh, again... I don't know how to describe it. It's just at a loss for words because of the fact that all the flavors are there. And I'm, and when I say all the flavors are there, it's not like a confusing where they're just all over the place. I mean, you get you get it right at the front, you get it right at the middle, you get it right at the end, and then when it goes down, it goes down, and it goes down very smooth. So again, this beer doesn't need for me to describe because of the fact that a lot of you have seen this beer. A lot of you have done reviews on this beer, so there's nothing more that I can say or there's nothing more that how I can describe this beer be that anybody else has said. So, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a perfect brew. Russian River did an awesome job on this beer. So, with that being said, again, uh, which is visit Russian River Brewing at a uh, Santa Rosa, California, or Sonoma County, California, coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. So, if you can get this at your local store, please, please get it. Because, again, certain beers only come once in a lifetime. And after that, they're discontinued. And if you don't get it, if you don't taste it, then you have missed out on great brew. So... I know a lot of you cannot get this beer on the East Coast because Russian River Brewing, just with all the breweries or small breweries which are located all across all across the United States, they will not ship out and they will only ship out to a certain uh, extent. So please hit me up. Please let me know. If you want this beer, I can try to get this beer for you. It's not a guarantee. Again, I can try to get this beer for you. And if I can, great. I want to trade. If I can't, then I'm sorry that I could not. And I'm sorry that you could not enjoy it as much as I did. And uh, I wish you the best of luck in receiving it. With that being said, please subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, whether it's good, whether it's bad. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please support me. Again, support Beer Drinkers United on Facebook. With that being said, thank you for joining me on another review of good quality craft beer. I am Charles from Beer Republic. And... Thank you for stopping by and you stay classy.